<laughs> I know. Well, that's the great thing about treaties. It doesn't even matter. Hey, I'm back. Or as they say in Denmark, I'm back. Most people speak English. So, are you guys ready to polish off this treaty? Oh, um, actually, I, I merged our treaty with Russia and China's treaty. I got cut out of my own treaty? Yeah. I got sick of treading water, so I swam over to Asia, made a deal. The nation of Denmark would like to formally request a summit with the nation of Peru over there by the refreshment table, because the nation of Denmark needs a juice box. I am shocked and appalled by the actions of the honorable delegate from Peru. <sighs> Leslie, just... Look, I thought I could handle being friends with you, but I can't, okay? Now, we agreed the other night that we can't spend time together. I think that was the right call. But that was in a romantic way. We can still spend time together as friends. It doesn't work that way. You can't just chop up the aspects of a relationship into discrete parts and select the ones you want like a buffet. Why not? Because it's selfish. Stop being obtuse. Look, I understand where he's coming from, but I have been nothing but straightforward with him. And if anyone in the entire world should understand the difficult position I'm in, it's, it's just I've made an effort and I've shared my flags with him and suddenly he doesn't want to be friends? You know what, that leaves me with only one option. Please, just excuse me for it. Attention, this is an urgent world matter. Due to a recent betrayal, my homeland, the great state of Denmark, has officially decided to declare war on Peru. Scandinavian brothers, on my signal, unleash hell! What we need to focus on is how to destroy Peru, specifically one person who lives there. Madam Ambassador, are you changing the scenario? We didn't prepare for this. Global politics can change, and scenarios can arise, and suddenly you're just like, wait, I thought this one thing, but look over there, that's a different thing, and it's changing everything, and I'm like, what? Hold up. Who has tanks for me? Uh, I'm sorry, but we're gonna keep trying to solve the food crisis. Food schmood. This is war. God, it's time for you to nut up, Switzerland. <laughs> Well, 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 look who is brave enough to show his face in Europe. Say the word, Leslie. I'll sick my army of lions on him. Okay, look, I think um, things are starting to get a little out of control here. I agree. You betrayed me, and you went behind my back, and now you need to pay. I need to, I need to pay. Do I stutter? Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, you know what? You might want to borrow this. Ew, no one wants your dirty underwear, but... It's not dirty underwear. It's a white flag, and you may as well start waving it right now, Leslie. The only Leslie. thing I will be waving is your decapitated head on a stick in front of your weeping mother. Good Lord. We've been making great strides with genetically modified crops and would gladly pledge to continue the growth Excuse of... Excuse me, Madam Ambassador. I, I, Excuse I'm me. Not, I'm not finished. Oh, really? Then why do I have the microphone? I move that the Security Council formally condemn Denmark and stop them from making any more unwarranted acts of aggression. As long as you quit derailing the conference. People are dying of hunger in Africa. Oh, cry me a river. All in favor of the resolution. What? Oh, that's interesting. The resolution passes with flying colors. Denmark is formally condemned. Bam. That's no problemo, Peru, because Denmark no longer recognizes the authority of this international gang of thugs. And history will be unkind to those who stand opposed to justice. Together, we stand, and I ask all of you, who is ready to join the Coalition of the Willing? The moon shall join your coalition. Yeah, we got the freaking moon. What are you gonna do without tides, Peru?